Hello everyone, welcome to Among the Sleep. This is a horror game where you play as a two-year-old. It came out just a little while ago, and from what I've seen so far, it hasn't been getting the best reviews. Kind of fairly lukewarm, but still decent. But, despite that, they have still been decent, and I've been craving a horror game. And from what I've heard, it's relatively short. I think it's about three hours, roughly. So, let's give it a shot. This game is available from Steam, GOG, and the Humble Store, so I'll have links to all of that in the description. And without further ado, let's begin. Very colorful, the beginning. I've played the first couple minutes just to make sure everything works. It's a very trippy beginning, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Did you finish your drink already? Uh, careful! It might break. <laughs> now it'll only be a minute. Mommy just has to make sure that the cake is perfect. <laughs> Some serious gravity on this ball, my god. Let's see. There, and there. Perfect. Oh, look at you. You're so adorable in your tiny-footed pajamas. Happy birthday, sweetie. Wow, two years today. <laughs> Oops. I think I know a little someone who's ready for some cake. Chugga 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 choo choo! <laughs> Here it comes! Through the tunnel! Choo choo! Uh, I'll be... Mm, right back. What are you doing? No! Hey, you. <gasps> Look what I found. I wonder what it is. Why don't we go upstairs and find out? Oh my, <laughs> how much cake did you have? Yeah, I think this beginning is just so cool. It's so well done. It really introduces you to the very strange perspective of being a two-year-old kid that you don't usually play in a game. Everything just looks so strange, so huge. Now let's see what's inside. Maybe it's a new toy. <laughs> uh... It's a teddy bear. Okay, sweetie. Be a dear and play for a bit. Mommy will be right back. Teddy bear wants out of its cage. <laughs> Just as I want out of mine. 
So some very nice physics interactions in this game. Reminiscent of, like, penum the Penumbra series and Amnesia and stuff like that. Pick up objects, throw them, rotate them. And of course, get out of my way, you can crawl. Which is actually faster than walking, as I just said. Which at first is very strange if you're used to playing first-person shooters and stuff like that, but when you realize you're a small kid who doesn't have the best walking coordination, it makes sense. Also, your breathing is really, really loud for some reason. <laughs> But yes, the game world seems to be, at least at the very beginning, one where everything seems, on the surface level, very happy, right? You know, my walls are covered with fluffy clouds, and there's a teddy bear, and there's happy paintings, and my mommy loves me. But something's very wrong. As we could hear from, I'm assuming that was the father. And it sounds like they're having issues. And he wasn't supposed to be here, and he suddenly showed up. And of course, a two-year-old's understanding of that is not going to be great. Hey, little pink elephant. Oh, hold on, can I put you in the box? kind of works. Let me, let me put the top on. Okay, I kind of failed. Oh, look at that. I'll race you, train. Come on. I win. You suck. Aw, it's an unhappy cat. Why is it all frowny? It doesn't like the train. I remember these things. Hello there. Hey, you found me. My name is Teddy. Nice to meet you. Hey, what's your name? Not much of a talker yet, eh? Let's play a game. Sounds like fun. What do you have in mind? I know. I'll hide the pink elephant while you're not looking. Come here. Turn around and cover your eyes. There. You can look now. Oh, I see where you put it. Come on. That's too easy. Yeah, I really like the way they introduced the... Uh... I guess I kind of introduced you to the fact that you have a menu, which I don't know if you really need to be introduced to that fact. But what I really like about it is how the menu is actually kind of part of the game world. If you notice when you press escape, your character, your character's hands goes up to your eyes. It's almost like you're covering your eyes. You've paused the game. You know, that's your safe. That's when you feel safe. If you can't see them, they can't see you. It's really cool. Nice little attention to detail there. Here it is, you silly. <laughs> you found it. I can't close wow. it. Is that a music box? Does it work? You bet. That's a nice melody. Oh, 
Is there anything else you wanted to do? Ooh, I know. I'll play on this thing. There we go. That's how this is supposed to work, right? What's this? Hmm? Five thirsty animals upon a dry, dry hill. We could use a drink, they sang and started to drill. Unless we reach water with our newly dug well, I think we'll have to bid each other fare thee well. I just realized why it looks like it's in an alien language. It's not Ooh. because we're on a different planet, it's because I don't under I don't know how to read. <laughs> that makes sense does actually. It run? How do you start it? Of course it does. You have to overcome Mount Grumpy Cat first though. Might need to use explosives to clear it clear a tunnel through its face. Round and oh. round and round. I think Grumpy Cat's going to be going to be even grumpier. I want to show you something. Come here. Need some place very dark. I think I know just the place. Your closet. That bowling ball seems very surprised, very worried. What are, you, what are you looking at? Is there something on the ceiling? Something that alarms you? Oh, I know. It's staring up in wonder at the stars. It has to be darker. Shut the doors completely. This will do nicely. I hope there are no monsters in here. This wasn't if here before. If you ever feel scared in a dark place like this, you can hug me tightly. You might feel a little bit safer. There's a world in my closet. <laughs> Come here, Teddy. Everything's so big. That can't be safe. Is that wiring or is that a pipe? I don't think we're supposed to be here. We must be careful. I don't like this. Neither do I. Did you hear that? I think something's coming. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> what are you doing in the closet? Oh, are you playing with your new friend? Hello, Mr. Bear. Nice to meet you. How are you today? <laughs> You've got to stop hiding from Mommy. I hope you had a good birthday, hon. <sighs> Mommy would be very sad if you didn't. And now it's time for bed. <laughs> if you go to sleep now... You can wake up early tomorrow and play with your friend all day. <sighs> Every little boy and girl are sleeping now all over the world. And they're waiting just for you. We shouldn't keep them. Good night, hon. Sweet dreams. <laughs>
Where are you going, Teddy? And now I guess we get to see the scary world as a two-year-old sees it in their nightmares. Oh, you can peek around corners. I think, yeah, I think I played through this section in the demo. Should I preemptively move this out of the way in case I have to run? That doesn't sound good. Someone crying or screaming. Washed. What worse fate could befall a teddy bear? Well, I suppose you get ripped apart, but still, that's pretty bad. Come here. <laughs> Look at this. A water heater becomes... A towering mountain. The stairs beckon. You go first, Paul. Tell me if it's safe. I don't trust you. I can get into that door if I go and get the the little stool. Let's try it. Oh wait, I don't think it's I, I don't think I can actually get it over this bump. Nope. I can't lift it up, I can only drag it. Downstairs it is. You have to be very quiet. You don't know what might be listening.
lightning. Wonderful. Am I going to start seeing a well out in the woods? Let's not keep watching. Aw, what is that? It looks adorable. <laughs> oh, there we go. Turned it off. It's an old school game controller, huh? What the hell is that? Are those oranges? Apples? Tomatoes? Peaches? Not entirely sure. Some sort of fruit or vegetable. Hmm. That's obviously me. What is that? Is that my teddy bear? Nice little alcohol cove there. It's in my bottle. I like how even something as small as the fridge sounds like some massive ancient door made out of stone slowly opening and closing. Make some stairs here. Get on the counter like a good little mischief maker. Ooh, I'll just put my hand in the blender. Put the paper towels on the burner. Come on, I have to know. Can you break him? Jesus, that's loud. <laughs> oh, hello. You look like another friend. Oh. That radiator is not my friend. But you are. Come here. You're colorful and happy. Here, you guard the door from monsters, okay? No, that's not how you stand. That's not how you sit. Get it. There you go. I think I need to do that from up here. Or 
Or maybe I just need to drag a chair over. That's probably it. It's like a person with no head. No real body. He looked down? Looks like a person. Look up? Nothing. There's another one. Somebody punch the wall? What is that? That's mom and dad fighting, isn't it? And I'm in the center, tiny and just in the middle. I know that feeling. Didn't experience it as a two-year-old, of course, but... Yep, being a kid in the middle of an unhappy marriage is no fun. Let's just say that. That's an old-school computer. It's a CRT. Cathode ray tube. Good old 40-pounders. Tons of lead. Wonderful for the landfills. To be fair, most computer parts are not very good for landfills, but I think CRTs are some of the worst, aren't they? Interesting creature. Big nose. I'm not sure what I'm climbing up to, but I'm doing it. This is my Mount Everest. No, oh, I can't get up there. What is that? It looks so sad. I think that's my dad and I'm in the crib crying. Hmm. 
Aw, it's all like melted and stuff. Alright, now I need to get down without breaking my tiny little legs. Okay, I'm good. That would be my mom, I presume. And there's a grumpy cat under the bed. Look at it. So grumpy. so grumpy. Here. Watch over the room. Maybe your frown will keep them away. Most of the black streaks. Maybe she's been working on the car, changing the oil at midnight, and she had a bit of a spill. Weirder things have happened. <laughs> Or maybe she got dragged away by demons. That's a good question. I can't go back. Oh no, yes I can. <laughs> can you see your reflection? It's her, but it, it seems more like a memory. Tab to open the inventory. Wait, this game actually has an inventory system? Whoa. I guess that's the only item I have. 
What is it? I guess down deeper and deeper into my nightmares we go. That doesn't look safe. Well, Geronimo, here we go. Mm. Are you all right? What is this place? The street light. <laughs> Good Teddy. A solitary swing in the distance, swinging with nobody on it. A playhouse? What's that doing here? It's actually appropriately sized for me. Is it locked? I might be able to open it from the inside if you help me up. Whoa, look at this place. Listen. There it is again. It sounds like it's coming from behind this door. There must be a way to open it. It seems like these are connected somehow. Hmm, does snake around to it. Oh, be careful, Teddy. Uh, maybe it requires some sort of key. Is there anything we can use? Perhaps this? Do I use it in here, or maybe in here? Hmm, it gets all shiny when I mouse over this, I'm guessing this is it. Three more. Let's find a way to open it. What did you find? Hmm. It's rather small, but it looks like my paws might fit. Aha! It's a button. Okay, I was worried for a second that might be like that one section in the cat lady where you stick your arm in to get to the it button and bad like things the happen. Memory you share with her unlocked the door. Maybe if we can find more memories like this, it might bring us to her. It looks like we need three more. I wonder where this will take us. And to be honest, it scares me a bit. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep you safe. Pick me up whenever you're ready to go. <laughs> you know what's funny? So this is supposed to be my imagination, right? My nightmare? 
And up until this point, it's felt uh, appropriate. Exaggerated, you know, how a two-year-old might view the world. But then the teddy bear starts talking about what I need to find my mother. I need three more of these magical things, three more of these keys. And suddenly it doesn't feel like the world a two-year-old would come up with as sort of a nightmare, but rather something a game designer would come up with as a main gameplay sort of thing that I need to collect to, you know, progress in the game. <laughs> I mean, it's almost impossible not to see it that way, because that's exactly what it is. It feels inappropriately gamey. Collect all five notes. That sort of thing. Oh well. Just cleaning up. Satisfying my... my brain's need for order. Oh, that's me and my music box. Apparently I'm some sort of a blue... aqueous cyclops. I don't even know what that is. I see a lot of red, though, so I'm assuming that's a lot of dead people. I'm a disturbed child. Aww. even longer than the last one. noise with this. I really want to. There we go. Just need something to bang into it. Or just need to bang it into something. Or maybe not. Man! Oh well. Wanted to make a song. Felt like composing. This doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I hope the memory is close by. It's a tire swing. Except it's very, very large. I fear it might crush me and my tiny body. I really like the art in this game. Very nice art design. This looks like fun. We Whoa, over there. It looks like another memory across that bridge. So it does. I guess all the memories are inside of those strange... mirrorous bubble things. Is there a way up this tower? It's another one of these things. 
Oh, I'm actually... I'm collecting them. Hmm. I guess I just need four more. Oh, I need enough weight to support me when I get to the end, right? And right now it doesn't have enough? Yep. Oh, it's a sandbox. Ah, I used to have so much fun in these. I remember sometimes we'd even, like, fill it with water. Just play around with wet sand. That was fun. Very messy, though. Entire structures coming out of a tiny crack all the way at the bottom. Uh. Yep. Gigantic rocks spinning in midair. Totally normal. Looks like that's me outside. Yep, there's the sun, some flowers. That just closed behind me. And it won't open. Like it's looking at me. Judgmental goat or whatever this is. Uh. That's just a picture of a monster. God, it's a maze. You're too big, I can't take you with me, Mr. Owl. Oh, you're hollow. It's me and Teddy, and something that's been crayoned out. Whatever it was, it looks like it was pure red. Like some sort of a demon.
This looks safe. Great, it's on the end of something. It's on the end of something wooden. Over a huge abyss. Wonderful. What the fuck? That's not how I remember, Mr. Slug Caterpillar thing. What happened to you? I want to make sure I have an exit here. Okay, I do have an exit. Yeah, I'm not going to the end of that thing. No way. How many do I... Whoops, wrong key. I've got two. I think I need three or four. The person holding some... I think it's a drink. I wonder if my father's alcoholic. Just spinning back and forth with nobody on it. Nothing weird about that. I see you. But how do I get to you? I need to remove the stone. I can't move the stone. Not directly. I need to free that thing. I just push off the top of my body. It's weird. Well, maybe it was already like that, I'm not sure. I have no idea what that is. back here. Most likely nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing but more owls. Alright, I think I need to get up the tree. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> 
Almost. That's weird. Why can't I get up that? I was pretty much there already. do it. Never mind. And... That should do it. There we go. This is back where I came from. Wait, is that back where I came from? No, I don't think it is. I think I'm actually supposed to go this way. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I don't like those noises. Really don't like those noises. I'm going to close that behind me. That was open a second ago. Why is it closed now?
<laughs> All right then, one more time. But that's it. Musical. <sighs> we made it back. I didn't believe in evil before all this. Now I'm not so sure. Yeah. <laughs> we have to find a way to safety. Find a way out of this mess. She must be so worried about you. But don't be afraid. You and me will work this all out together. I know we will. Well, you know the ropes by now. Yep. Put that in the machine and continue on and find the rest. All right. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, so far, I'm really impressed with it. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it. I like the art direction. I like the horror elements so far. They haven't been overdone or underdone. Creepy. Just the right amount of creepy without too much in your face, too much jump scare stuff. And just the right amount of restraint. I like it. Art direction's great. I really like the voice acting of Teddy. Some really good voice acting. Yeah, it's actually quite good. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.